Hello everyone, this will be a uh, tutorial on how to code a honeycomb um, icon that you have made. Right, so, you know, I'm, I'm really digging the honeycomb look so far. I really like it. It uh, is really simple and everything, and that's what I like about it. And, um, you know, there it's pretty great, but there are some applications that just don't have it. Um, that the creator just didn't make one for, which is totally fine. So, um, I was like, you know what, I want to make a, uh, action, action icon. Because, you know, I usually don't have action on here, but I'm digging the honeycomb look. So, I was just wondering how to do that, and I, I just stumbled upon, um, this person's, uh, this person's, um, tutorial on how to, uh, make the icon. Um... I will uh, link this video below. This is only how to make it. Uh, and so, I, I, you know, it was great. I learned how to make it, but I didn't know how to code it. So, I mean, coding is pretty simple, but, you know, for a simpleton like me, it was kind of like, kind of like, oh, how do I do this? So, um, first thing you're going to want to do is save the image to your desktop. All right. So you're going to have the image right here, and just have that right there. And what you're going to want to do is go to Rain Reader, um, right-click on Honeycomb. You want to go to Open Folder, all right? This should pop up, all right? If you can't see, I already have the Action Folder because it's right here. But, um, you know, you have this whole entire thing. You even, I believe, have you have a template right here that you can use for... Uh, for um, Photoshop. Alright, what you need to do next is go to at resources, go into images, and here you will find all of the icon images that are used to make the um, to make the honeycomb look. Alright, next what you're going to do is drag this into that folder. I already have it there so I'm just going to replace it there it's right there now. And so now that that's there, that's very important. Um, now you have to go to a folder. Go to a folder that you created called Action or anything that you want it to be. Usually just make it simple for like trying to find it later. Uh, make the folder called Action. I already have the... Um, the um, command like the program whatever it's called <laughs> like the uh, code in it but uh, I'll just show you what you should do so um, you're gonna wanna go over here go to new go to text document I'll just name this action dot ini the ini is very important because it changes the uh, format of the whole entire uh, file so that's going to pop up. If you change a file name, extension the file might become unusable. I'll just say yes, yeah, you'll be able to use it. It'll be fine. Uh, and you're just going to double click that. All right? Now, this will pop up. It's just blank. There's no coding on it at all. So what you need to do is get coding. Now, you could do this all by hand, or you could just be like me and be lazy. So what comes with um, Honeycomb for Rain Meter is um, it comes with a preset of a bunch of Honeycombs like Twitch was one, Reddit was one, Photoshop was one, Google Chrome was one. Those are all just presets, right? So what I did was I just decided to basically copy say Chrome Go like this, copy it all, go over to action, and paste. Just like that. So now basically it has all the coding in, but you it's it's synced up to Chrome. So what you need to do first, you don't really have to change this, I'm pretty sure, but I like to do is just to like make sure everything's there. Um you have all of this. Left mouse action is when you click it, what is it going to do? So what you need to do is change this. And it will be pretty easy. So 
the first thing you're going to want to do is leave this alone and change this, right? This is where the image is located. This is where it gets its resource. So what you want to do is go to resources and basically I name this action icon.png type after the slash whatever it is named action icon dot png all right so there it is action icon dot png all right and so we have that it's linked to the resource next is the left mouse up action all right so this is linked to chrome.exe. Now what you have to do for this is I'm I don't feel like finding it. So I'm just gonna go over here, type in action, uh, open file location, that's a shortcut, properties, open file location, properties, right? Now this is gonna be the location. So add a copy. and paste but you also have to add the application itself so you're going to want to add another slash it can't be the one below the question mark it has to be the one above the bar or the, not above uh, below the bar um because or else the code won't work um and then just copy down what the uh, program is so action .exe. I think that's it. Uh, yep, action.exe. Alright. Uh, keep this the same. Metadata, met, metadata, keep that the same. I accept, change the name to action. You can change the data. It doesn't, like, not the data, the uh, author information. You can change all that. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, that's what you're, that's what it's going to look like, right? Um, so I'll save that. Um, I already have this um, file. Let me see if it's similar to the one I already have. Yep. Author Hunter, that's me. Action.exe. Instead, I just put an exclamation mark there. It won't change anything. Action icon.png. Yep, 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 yep. So that's all the same. And that's perfectly fine. Um, next, what you're going to do is after you close out all this stuff, because all of it's open, um, you're going to have the file. Um, let me just delete that because they're the same thing. You're going to have the file. You're going to have one uh, INI file there, which is code. Um, and next, what you're going to want to do if I close I closed it. Next what you're gonna want to do is open folder. Um, you're going to want to drag the action folder into honeycomb. And I already have one there. So I'm just gonna replace it. Might as well it doesn't matter. It should work either way. And that's gonna be there. Um, and that's great. So basically, you just put it in the honeycomb. And next, you just want to go to refresh all. Go down to action. Mine's already loaded. It's right here. Unload and load. And it should totally work. Should link to the resource because you've loaded a totally different. You've like it's totally different resource, but it's still in the resource folder. So it still knows where it is. So it should totally work. You should be able to drag it around, all that fun stuff. Um, put it in a certain way that you want it. And uh, then it will work fine. Um, I'm actually running it right now, so it won't work for me, but whatever. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much how to do it. It's just copying code, changing the destination, changing the... Uh, changing the picture and putting it in the resource it's just moving stuff around basically so yeah that's uh pretty much it um if you have any questions uh 
leave a comment below. I'll remember to uh, link this video um, in the um, description. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to code uh, honeycomb icons. Uh, all right, see you guys.